Okay, hey guys, so before I started the question and answers video, I just wanted to show a quick delivery I got because this is so cool. Okay, one sec. So I just got this big box and this is what I got. So this is beautiful. They actually contacted me. They're called Under the Lucky Stars. Um, I'll leave like all their stuff here. But basically it is when these stars were aligned when I was born. So you can pick like a day you met your partner, someone else's birthday, a certain like moment in your life that you really like. So um, the stars above Dublin and Ireland on the 30th of September 1998 when I was born. Um, and this is what it looked like. And you can choose hearts, squares, all that stuff. And this is what I got and you could put a message at the top. So I wanted to do a quote. So I did everything you desire is through consistency, um, which I really like that quote. And then I got a white frame, but it's just so cool. I'm obsessed with it. I'm sorry, my camera cut off. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh no, let's put some a necklace on. I'm gonna pop some jewelry on the floor. We do this, I got my nails done today, do you like? Also, I got my ring. This is for my 21st birthday. I'm gonna be away for my 21st birthday. So my mom gave me my birthday present early um, and I'm obsessed with it. And I also think it's a really nice meaning to know, you know, I'm moving across the world. Um, it's a nice memory to know for my 21st, I got that. And it kind of, my mom was like, every time you look at it, you can remember that you're safe, you know, everything like you're safe. You have your family, your mom, everyone who loves you and you're turning 21 in a different country. Um, Cause in Ireland, 21 is like the big year. I know in like America, it's like sweet 16, but in, um, Ireland it's always like 21st like that's a big year so yeah I'm just sipping on lemon water oh obviously I'm recording on my phone is that distracting after all the questions then in my trusty notepad because um I'm recording on my iPhone so I didn't have but I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me questions and a ton of them were in regards to me moving across the world Um, so I did get a bunch of other questions which I'm just gonna do in a regular Q&A but for this one I want this like to be niche down purely to moving across the world any questions you may have about Canada all that good stuff so we're gonna get straight into it and if you do enjoy me you do like me make sure to give this video a thumbs up give it a subscribe I do all things lifestyle self-development and mindfulness so yeah I know my video is I feel like it's I am wearing a top by the way and um, I feel like uh, my quality has downgraded a ton but I'm kind of liking the iPhone I just I have a natural just a regular room light on it's very chilled okay a bunch of people were like have you officially moved to Canada? Yes, I have. Um, and then that also kind of follows into the next question. A lot of people are asking me, like someone said to me, um, do you have citizenship or what's the process of getting a Canadian visa for a non-national? So I didn't have to get a Canadian visa purely because I am a Canadian citizen. Um, I have the passport, the citizenship, my brother does, my mom does. Um, so that wasn't a hassle for me to move over. Like I, I literally just had to book a flight. I didn't have to go through any visa or anything like that so unfortunately I have no clue how one would go about their application and um, there must be plenty of videos on YouTube about that because I did get a lot of questions but I just can't answer that P what made you move to Canada all that sort of stuff so I have moved officially Um, I mean I wanted the reason I wanted to is because I did want to move out of home I think I was just ready I was excited I feel if you are from Dublin or if you're from Ireland in general watching this I feel like you can get into a bit of a bubble and I felt like I was in a South Dublin bubble in the sense that like I wasn't developing as a person I kind of hadn't seen the real world and um, I felt I could be more independent and I know some people might be like oh you're only 20 years old like why do you feel the need to do this all now but I feel I'm quite mature for my age and I wanted to evolve even more and I feel like the only way to grow is to be by yourself so doing such a leap like going to Canada by myself was like just something that excited me so much and I've already learned so much of myself about myself and um, but it's been really emotional but um, I'm glad I'm experiencing these emotions and um, so yeah I decided to do that because one off I had the Canadian passport so it's very convenient and then secondly I wanted to grow as a person learn more about myself and become more independent that was the big one like I really wanted to pay my own rent but I knew I wasn't just gonna give my mom rent like if I was living at home I knew I wasn't gonna um, pay her rent but I didn't want to move out in Dublin I if I was going to move out I wanted to move somewhere here first um so that's why I did that and then also I really wanted to start grocery shopping for myself and everything like that I also because I am a really I'm really 
into like eating well now that I know exactly what comes into the place um, I'm in control of what I bring in and then another thing that is incredible that I didn't even think about now that I've moved is I've been eating ridiculously well because I don't have anything bad in my in the place to eat bad like everything I bring in is super healthy super good for you and I feel incredible from that um, and that's one thing I adore I adore having the ownership of bringing in all healthy things and then just cooking with what I have and you're a lot more mindful with your money like I've noticed when I go to the shop I'm not like do I I kind of question do I really need this whereas before if you don't have to pay rent or you don't have to pay for your food or your phone bill or things like that you kind of can just buy loads of random things that you don't necessarily need and um, so that's another thing I adore so far about doing this and um, I might love it here and never move back I might absolutely hate it and want to go but so far I have really enjoyed it I went to downtown and I adore the city and um, I have a bus outside me it's very convenient but I definitely think like I'm gonna move out of home forever like I think I, I don't think I'm gonna move back in home but never say never but for now I'm adoring the freedom but one thing I've learned about myself and it's only been a week is that you do feel a lot more lonely and I thought I was very um self-reliant to myself like I felt I was very good with my own company and that I really enjoyed spending time with me and only me but then I kind of realized well my mom was always around in the house and me and my mom were like this like we're best friends she's we're so close so it was almost like I was living with my best friend so I actually didn't realize if I was okay being alone and I am um but I have been exper exper experiencing a little bit of like loneliness you know like you like I went out to the t city yesterday no the day before and then you're alone all that day like just exploring the city by yourself and then you come home alone to an empty place so it's kind of like I'm experiencing all that but I this is what I wanted I wanted to experience all these emotions and learn learn about them the younger the better it has been a bit of a roller coaster like there's a few times I've already burst out crying um, and I don't want it to look like because I know social media could portray this image of like perfectionism, perfectionism and me like loving my life over here and you know posting like videos or stories and I'm just enjoying myself like I still have like freaked out and panicked a few times like it's a very big overwhelming thing and I think it's something I need to process like I literally packed up everything I own into three suitcases and moved across the country moved across the world um, to Toronto and moved into my own place at 20 and now I'm gonna have to learn how to pay my own rent and you know do all these different things um, and I'm excited about that I'm super super excited about that but this is what I wanted and um, so I'm glad I'm experiencing these emotions of like a little bit of stress a little bit of uh, overwhelming uh, feeling very overwhelmed um, and all these things but I'm I'm happy that I'm experiencing them they're not good feeling emotions but everyone goes through them one time or another so yeah that is my answer to those questions another one is why Toronto can't wait to follow your adventure on here thank you and another person was like why not Vancouver why Toronto so I've only been to Canada once before this and it was for my cousin's wedding and I absolutely fell in love with the city I just thought it was hands down my favorite holiday and um, like I remember we just like sat around the bonfire and like I saw shooting stars and you know then we went to see the sunset on the beach and like it was just so magical so I always like in the back of my mind remembered that and I always wanted to move somewhere for a fresh start because in Dublin it is such a small country when you go out you run into everyone especially in South Dublin you know everyone everyone you see and I kind of wanted to break away with that for that from that and kind of step into who I was made to become and you know this sounds really bad to say but sometimes you get a bit anxious I used to be like if you stepped out you'd be like oh god I hope I don't run into someone I look awful or I look like this or I look like that but here I don't know anyone so it's like a clean slate so I can really be the person that I want to be and act the way I want to act and it's not like I was putting on a fake persona back in Dublin but it's just more I think you're less careless and I've even noticed like I don't really care what I look like when I go out and I think that's an amazing quality to have so I'm trying to learn about that more and more and I know that's in a way you could look at that and be like you had to move the country just to become less careless to become more careless but I love it that way I love the way I don't know anyone in this I love the way I don't really know much people at all in this city it's like a fresh start like it's exciting it also means the main reason actually is to get outside my comfort zone you know like friend you're not gonna make friends in your living room you're not gonna make friends or meet people in your bedroom like 
you're gonna have to go out into the real world and push yourself outside your comfort zone and like really get uncomfortable and that's the main reason is I always want to practice what I preach and I always preach you know get outside your comfort zone do things that scare you do this and do that but I was like, kind of like recording them and then I felt a bit like a phony because I was sitting in my room preaching all this and I was like I'm not really practicing it so I was like okay by doing something like this I'm 100% gonna get outside my comfort zone so that is what I'm doing and I've been loving it so far I've even noticed people make so much more conversation here than in Ireland like I went into downtown into the city like two days ago and I had so much conversations with people for like like 10 minutes like I'd ask them for like a direction then they'd be chatting away from me because they're like oh you're from Ireland and la -di -da, -di da so it's also kind of like a conversation starter because you're not from the country so people are going to start chatting to you and getting to know you and everything like that which I adore but I'm really enjoying getting outside my comfort zone I mean I'm it, it's a not nice feeling but it's it's pushing through fear because I don't want to live a fear-driven life I don't want to live my life in fear and um, so this is an awesome way to learn about that too okay and then someone said video on how you found moving um so i remember the moment i knew i was going to be like oh my god this is happening when it was like take off um on the airplane so i actually recorded that i'll pop it in here but that was the moment i was kind of like i i was like oh my god like this is like oh like i'm just getting shipped off now and then when i landed i was like wow this is it but the first real time was when i was laying in my bed that I because I moved into my place on the second night and um, because I already had it set up when I um, came so and um, when I was lying in bed I was kind of like wow this is it like this is like I'm here like this is my own I moved at home this is my own place like I'm responsible for everything I do no one's there to tell me to not do this or not to do that like I don't have a mother telling me to do or what not to do and it's kind of a sense of okay crap I'm really gonna have to act well now or am I gonna you just become more responsible I guess like I'm just excited for that as well so what are you planning to do in regards to a job so if you guys I don't know if I I yeah if you're new here whatever I do online coaching so I coach people on their mindset through like scaling their businesses um you know transforming their lives into a healthier lifestyle whatever it is they break through barriers in their mind of just mindset coaching in regards to uh, what element, but I am gonna be niching down a bit, but I have a few clients, so that's what I've been doing full time. And again, just doing YouTube videos, podcasts, interviewing super cool people. Um, but I also think I'm gonna get a job purely to meet people. I just finished college doing digital marketing. Um, so um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a marketing job or if I'm going to just get any job just to meet people because long-term I do wanna do coaching. That is what I wanna be when I like, full time absolutely adore coaching people like I feel like it's my calling um but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing from now so I hope that answers your question in some way what's one thing you'll miss the most from moving and what's one thing you will not miss from Dublin so of course I'll miss my family like so badly um I think that's the main reason you'll, I'll get homesick is because I'll just miss my mom and my dad and my stepmom and my brother and my aunties and uncles and everything like that um one thing that I won't miss yeah the like the fear of the unknown of like going out and just running into people and just like a, the fear one thing i won't miss is like not feeling like i'm going on an adventure like every day if i was going into town it wasn't like an adventure because like i know the place so well like dublin is my home i was born and raised in dublin and um, so it's nice to have a, a whole new change of scenery and you know learning about navigating your way around the city and doing these things and that things that like kind of make you keep your wits about you and also you have to work harder in order to learn more so you're kind of awake you're not on like autopilot so and then the last one I got a ton of questions asking me how to take the leap and do something so scary like this because I remember um like running into a few people and I was like oh yeah I'm moving to Canada I move out and they're like how do you have the courage to do something like that like that absolutely terrifies me I got that from a lot of people they're all, they're all like that absolutely terrifies me for me personally, it doesn't terrify me. I think what terrifies me or, or my fear is like getting outside my comfort zone. I'm gonna have to get into awkward, uncomfortable situations to grow as a person and meet new people and evolve and everything like that. But a lot of people just got freaked out by the idea of just moving and like leaving their friends and everything like that. Um, but I would say I just wanted to learn to be independent and I, 
I'm excited and it's an adventure like it's fun you know this life is for living and we only got one life so I may as well do this but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give a big thumbs up and click the subscribe button I really enjoyed this on my iPhone I just felt it was way more chilled and um, but I had no clue where to look because there's no like camera like it looks weird when you're looking at your iPhone camera lens it looks like I'm looking away um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, make sure to follow my Instagram as well, at Ellaringers. I post daily motivational content, all that good stuff. All my links will be down below as well as my manifesting ebook. I have a bunch of links down below if you want to check anything out to get to know moi better. And I will see you guys in the next video.